the art of deception. You know him best as the reformed hacker who spent time in maximum security and made Free Kevin a household term on his release from prison three years ago. After serving a five-year sentence, Kevin was barred from using the Internet. That was the terms of his probation. For the first time in eight years, Kevin Mitnick is finally going to be allowed back online, and it's going to happen today. Welcome, Kevin. It's good to have you on the show. It's, a, it's a great to be Wish here. Wish my I'm publisher excited. had thought about something excited. like this to plug my book sales. Man. <laughs> Perfect timing. Man. <laughs> wow. I have it here. This is a letter from the United States District Court U.S. Probation Office. Somebody tore this open. I had to see what that was. I think was, you were a little you know? excited a little worried, when this came. You know, what could it be? Let's just, let's just uh, read it here. I'm going to cover up the phone number because uh, we don't want anybody to call him. But this is from Gregory, your probation officer. The purpose of this letter is to inform you that uh, as of January 20th, 2003, that's midnight this morning, right? Cor correct. You exactly. will have successfully completed your of federal supervision. No idea what that means. I wish you the best of luck in the future. That's nice. Very thoughtful. If I can be of any assistance, <laughs> please feel free to contact me. And uh, you called him, right? Well, I called him this morning because I wanted to make absolutely sure. <laughs> it's okay. There's no surprises. <laughs> now tell me the truth. 12.01, you got online, didn't 12 you? 12.01, we were uh, having a party in the hotel room. You were celebrating? And I had, to, I had to get up very early this morning for a CNN. And we were in, it was like we stayed up to 1.30, and I had to get up at 4. Has this been something you've been looking forward to? Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been missing out. The Internet is like kind of like having a telephone these days. It's so ambiguous. That uh, to be without it, yeah. it's like, oh, I couldn't use an electronic toilet without getting permission of the U.S. government. Right. They were afraid. <laughs> well, they, I know. They were afraid. I don't think it's a joke in prison that you could use whistle tones into a phone oh, yeah. and then hack into systems. Yeah, it's actually held in what they call the hole for eight months because they had a fear that if I could had access to a payphone in detention that I could start a nuclear strike. Now, let's say this right up front. Hacking is a crime. What Correct. you did was a crime. Absolutely. You did your time. I'm sorry for what I did. Yep. And, you uh, wouldn't encourage anybody to do that no, again. No. Uh, you know, sometimes I think every time we have you on, people I get letters saying, "Well, you're glorifying Kevin," and I want you to know, folks, Kevin's a great guy. We know, you know, we, he's a friend of the show, but he's reformed. He's not still doing this no, stuff, absolutely. and he's not advocating. In fact, he's the best example of, of why you shouldn't do why it. you shouldn't do <laughs> exactly. it. This guy did the time, you know but what? we're glad he's yeah. free. I think they overreacted in your case. That's why the free Kevin Mitt uh, movement was so big. It was more that the punishment did fit the crime being held for four and a half years without With, a trial, without trial, no bail hearing. Um, and what's interesting, in today's New York Times, uh, two federal dis uh, appellate courts ruled that it was overbroad, impermissible to restrict somebody from using the Internet as punishment. Yeah, and, that's and that's what the they day did to you. Get off. Yeah, right, a little <laughs> late for you, maybe for the yeah. future. Have you thought a lot about what you're going to do the first time? Now, remember, it's not just the surfing the web. You can't send email. You can't do anything, right? Uh, pretty much could not touch Blackberry, the Blackberry, you network. couldn't have a Blackberry? No. My Darcy, my girlfriend, was kind enough to buy me a getting off probation gift, and it's a Blackberry uh, 6710, I think. It is. You're going to love that. So. Have you thought a lot about what you're going to do yes, the first time? Yes. Uh, I, uh, a lot of lobbying. Year, Darcy's been year. lobbying. I know that you lobbying go to her site. Lobbying very hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead, ladies. Yeah. And, well, wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Okay. It's been eight years. A lot has changed. Maybe we should have some experts come in and, and fill you in a little bit on what you missed. Give me some good ideas. Yes. Let me introduce Emmanuel Goldstein. Emmanuel is the editor of 2600, the Hacker Quarterly. He is perhaps the best-known spokesman for the hacker community. Do you know each other? Oh, very well. He, right. he actually st helped start the Free Kevin Movement. All right, he there you go. Behind so he got, and, and I see you brought some gifts. Yeah, I brought this for myself, but you can have, uh, you can have <laughs> some <it>. champagne. <laughs> uh, champagne. Wherever right. you're celebrating. And, and to show you that times have changed, there's a new book out now called Takedown. Oh, no. Takedown. Not, not the Takedown that you're so familiar with. This Th is that's about, a book about you. This no, about, no, no. That was another book. This is about you don't want to read that book. <laughs> this is a mafia this might be a more interesting book. Yeah. The other book you don't want to read is Fall the Markov book. Mafia Empire. All right. So the title has been reused. That's very nice. Oh. All right. So some gifts. But that's not all. There's more. Oh. We've got John and Markov in the... No, I'm just kidding. I, want... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. He wants you. to do a New York Times story. Yes, you know? I wouldn't do that to you. Emmanuel's going to advise you on one side, but on the other side, we thought we'd bring an another friend of yours, a guy who's been on the show many times, w frankly, one of the, the guys who got the personal computer movement off the ground. Steve Wozniak is here. He's going to advise you on your angelic side. Mm -hmm. Steve, come on in. Hey, you brought hey, gifts, hey, too. Hey, congratulations. Hey, thank you very well much. What do you brought you something? I, uh, and I believe you held out and didn't get on the <laughs> oh, Internet. Do you yeah. believe that? This <laughs> is for you. Look at this drawing. A little gift. And Who drew that? That's awesome. Um, I thought it up this morning, but um, our artist at the company drew it. Look I at can't that. Draw it. At the new, <laughs> the new. I hope you enjoy it. So don't disturb the picture. And I'm pro-choice. So if you prefer a PC over a Macintosh, Darcy, I'm sure can 
Is this, you know, is this the new uh, <laughs> is this the new power book? That's uh, it's it's the current one being sold. Oh boy. It's a good one. I'm going to put oh this right God. here. And and to be fair, that's an Apple product. Yeah. Microsoft Office and some blank DVDs. Oh, oh man. My God. <laughs> you Thank are you. that is a nice <laughs> gift. <laughs> <Juicy. All right. laughs> Now, guys, a lot has happened since 1995. What browser were you using in 1995? Were you online? Uh, I hope the browser still exists. It's uh, Mosaic. Ah, oh, bad and news. Lynx. Bad news. Lynx is still around. I don't think you could still use Mosaic. No. I think there was this company called <laughs> Netscape. Came out of that. And then Netscape got bought by AOL. And then there's this guy named Bill Gates. You've heard of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I actually met him. <laughs> yeah. yeah? I met him uh, over at Comdex see, at the Mandalay Bay. He w they were having an after party. And I went up to him and I was shaking his hand. I go, hi, I'm Kevin Mitnick. Did he, he know goes, who you were? Uh huh? And I go, Kevin Mitnick. He goes, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he took off. No pictures. Well, is anything you would tell Kevin uh, about what's happened over the last eight years? God, I mean, I really think it's a shame that they kept you from this important thing that was happening, the Internet, when what you could do was so minor, especially if you were being watched or in prison or something, and you got to miss all the evolution of the Internet and sites, important sites that came into our lives. Like and Napster? some of them, And many that, yes, and went away. And that's uh, a really good example. <laughs> the portals that came and went. Yes. And the advertising came, and it got more and more and more, and you're inundated with it everywhere you go, and pop-up ads and all that. You have missed out, and you're kind of like, like a virgin, and you're just going to go at it for the first time. Ooh. You're going to be slow getting around, I presume, because you well, haven't I, been I, doing I this. I hope you guys will help. Emmanuel <laughs> Goldstein, what would you <laughs> tell uh, Kevin Mitnick? Any advice? Don't be afraid by the advertising because it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, you're going to see an advertisement or a pornography or an advertisement well, for pornography. Or, uh, well, there are ways. There, there, there's a group of people that uh, are, are dedicated to blocking advertising wherever you go, so we'll show you that as well. How about okay. hackers? Should he be worrying about hackers? I don't you? think he should be no, worrying about hackers. Do you think hackers. he's going to try to hack into my system? People are, are you kidding? He's going to be a major target, don't you think? What's Everyone your website? Uh, www.waz.org. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Waz, what's the first site you should go to? What do you think the first thing you should do on the internet? After Waz.org? I, uh, listen, the, infer the, the internet has just exploded with the amount of information you can get on anything you think of. You can type in and sometimes you get results and go to google.com. Google, I heard of Number Google. one. Uh, what Number was the one? big search engine in 1995? Was it, was it Yahoo? The Yahoo yeah, wasn't Yahoo. even around. No, was it Yahoo around? wasn't around. Yahoo. Uh, what did he Yahoo. use? Lycos? What did you no, use? No, no Yahoo was around. Was Yahoo yeah. around? Just no, beginning. No, not in 95. Not Just when beginning. Was, not by the time. Emmanuel Goldstein, what's the first site he should go to? Well, I, I'd like him to go to 2600.com, but I think I think Google is a good choice Google's because a good choice. you can type virtually anything into Google and you'll find, you'll find it. it. It's a line of dialogue in a, an obscure movie or something like that. Uh, it's it's really, amazing. It's I wonder a great if I tool. type in my name if I'll see anything. I bet you will. I think you have. Type in Leo's You've name. never done a vanity search. No. Here's a guy who's never done a search on his own name. <laughs> Patrick, you got any ideas for uh, maybe where uh, uh, Kevin Mitnick should go? I was going to say downloads.com because I actually found NCSA Mosaic version 3.0, which doesn't Th really run well. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make him feel right at home. Hey, what do you think, oh, Yoshi, wait. Kevin, where do you think he should go? First site Kevin Mitnick ever I'm, goes to. I'm going to say Slashdot, probably. Slashdot. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Yoshi? You I agree? I was going to say Google, but, you know, you should also try Yoshi.us. Yeah, there you go. Oh, How about so you guys fun. in the audience? Where should he go? Let's hear it. Where is the first place Kevin Mitnick? Screensaver. Screensaver. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of choices. Kevin Mitnick, it's yours to choose. Your first access to the Internet, live, national television. You pick where you want to go. Okay, I'm going to do that, but, you know, I also, I, I never send an email yet. You never sent an email? Never sent an email. And i got to tell you a little story. Is Back in March of 2000, I was testifying before Congress uh, with Frank Thompson and Joseph Lieberman. And we had this dialogue, and Lieberman suggested I should become an attorney. And then I told him, well, there's a little problem. I, I have a conviction on my record, a felony conviction, and they might not allow me to be a member of the bar. So I asked Lieberman, I said, maybe one day you'll be in a position to grant me a pardon. And I just found out he's running for president. So you're going to send him an email? Send him an email. All right. Front, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear first. Kevin Mitnick's first Internet Act, an email to Joseph Lieberman asking for a pardon. Yeah. And we're going to check back and see what site you're going to go. Is it going to be Darcy's site? It's going to be Darcy's site. Labmistress.com. You got the plug in. You told the times you had to do it. Guys, thank you so much. You can continue to uh, advise Mr. Mitnick on something that's completely unfamiliar to him. We'll check back again a little bit later on, see how you're doing. And we will put a, a list of bookmarks, all the places Kevin visits over the next right. 45 minutes. Bookmark Control-D everything, okay, Kevin? Okay. And we will put a bookmark. Let's see it here. He's going to go. Sony style. Now, Sony, did they pay you some money for that? <laughs> you better get it's a out. Sony Vaya. What <laughs> oh, can I say? Sony Vaya. All right, we'll this. check back in just a little bit, and of course, we'll have his bookmarks at thescreensavers.com.